a big part of my life growing up and you know what, getting to where I am now, it's like a dream come true. As cliche as that sounds, but it's been a dream. How long would you wait to fulfill a dream? A year? 10 years? Tyler Follis is no stranger to the waiting game. As an emerging high school prospect, he seemed destined to play collegiate baseball until an injury took him off program's radar. And so, he waited, both to heal and to hopefully receive college offers again. I was a little bit weary coming back from the injury. Didn't have anybody going into my senior year. Senior summer didn't have anybody. Went into my uh, senior summer, played in the Lions All-Star Tournament for Minnesota. And uh, Coach Field, who used to be, was my old hitting coach, and then DeVillers both saw me and they both were like, all right, well, we gotta get this kid here. They called me about three weeks before uh, school started up. And uh, we're like, hey, you wanna come on a visit? Came on a visit, found out who was all coming here, and it was just an easy fit. Though UND gave him a chance, that's all it was. A chance to prove to himself and his peers he belonged. Knowing that I was a late recruitment, I had no guaranteed anything. The only thing I was told I was out on the team. So I knew coming in that I had no playing time, no scholarship, no nothing. So I had to come in and prove myself. So when I came in, they were like, we're looking for a freshman to come in, hit, play in the field. We didn't have a shortstop. That was my goal, was to make a starting spot. Didn't plan on all the extra things happening. Tyler would have a breakout year as a freshman, leading the team in batting average and setting a single season record for hits at 74, only to break that record as a senior and set a new one for career hits. Numbers like that turns the head of a pro scout. But if Tyler wanted to play pro ball, he would have to endure maybe the longest wait of all, draft day. Watched every round, every pick for the first, well, I don't even remember how many rounds. And then uh, my mom called me, picked up the phone, started talking to her. And all of a sudden, while I'm on the phone with her, my phone just starts vibrating and vibrating and vibrating. And I quick run back to my computer and saw I had went two picks before that were on the board. So I'm like, Mom, I got to hang up. I got someone to call me. So I hung up. It was the scout from the Colorado Rockies saying welcome to the Rockies. And just like that, the 28 round wait was over for a Minnesota kid who almost didn't get a chance. It's kind of cool to show like for other people from my hometown and something that just because you're from a northern town doesn't mean anything. As long as you're willing to put in the work, you can do whatever you want. You just got to be willing to do it. So, I mean, I'm really happy I'm where I'm at and you know, I couldn't have asked for a better journey on the way.